In this video, we are going to study ventricles of the brain. There are four ventricles in the brain, two larger ventricles, a third ventricle, and a fourth ventricle. Ventricles are basically concerned with the production and transport of CSF. If we focus in this diagram, these right here are the lateral ventricles. They are continuous with the third ventricle through interventricular foramen, and third ventricle is then continuous with the fourth ventricle through cerebral aqueduct. Here you can see this is the third ventricle. The, it is continuous through the cerebral aqueduct with the fourth ventricle and superiorly it, is, it communicates with the lateral ventricle, this one, with, through interventricular foramen. In this video, we are going to study the details of third ventricle. Third ventricle basically has an interior wall, a posterior wall, superior wall, inferior wall and a lateral wall. The interior wall of the third ventricle is formed by the interior commissure, lamina terminalis, and the interior column of the fornix. So, interior volume is formed by the three parts, the anterior commissure, lamina terminalis, and interior column of the fornix. Moving on to the posterior wall, it is formed by the opening into the cerebral aqueduct, the habenular commissure. This right here is the pineal body, the posterior commissure so revising it the posterior wall is formed by the opening of cerebral aqueduct habenular commissure pineal body and posterior commissure the lateral wall the lateral wall of the third ventricle it is formed superiorly by the thalamus right here and inferiorly by the hypothalamus okay there is a sulcus between thalamus and hypothalamus which is known as hypothalamic sulcus this one so lateral wall is formed superiorly by the thalamus and inferiorly by the hypothalamus. Moving on to the inferior wall. Inferior wall of the uh, third ventricle, it is formed by, here you can see the optic, the optic chiasm, the tuber cinereum and the mammillary body. These optic chiasm, tuber cinereum and mammillary body, these are the ones which are going to form the inferior wall of the third ventricle. The roof of the third ventricle, it is pretty much clear in this picture. The roof of the four, fourth ventricle, it is formed by the tela choroide and the choroid plexus. That was all about third ventricle. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.